Hey everyone, it's Sam here. So I'm back with another scraps video. This time I've chosen to use the scraps from my craft consortium and it was the circus one. I can't remember the actual name of the pad. If I can find it, I'll link it below. It's probably maybe 18 months, two years old now, but I've got some nice scraps still here and I've cut a lot of the pieces because inside the cover and the back of the craft consortium pads, they have a lot of images that you can cut out. So I might use some of those on the cards as well. But I've got five really easy styles to do, so let's get started. So I've got a five by seven card blank for this one. I'm going to have it as a landscape. If you're cutting your card from scratch, this is a piece of 10 by seven. And along the 10 inch side, you want to score at five. And that will give you your card fold. And I thought I would just revisit what I did in last week's video. And that was I made the three kind of flowers using these squares where I just took uh, the corners off of the opposite two of the opposite sides so i've just cut myself here two four six eight pieces of one and a half squared which is the matte layer and then the pattern paper is one and a quarter i've stuck them on top of each other oh, well i've just rounded off the corners with my corner punch first you just want to work on your opposite corners there and then i've stuck it on there using some foam and i was just playing around with a pattern really and i thought i would do how did I have it? It was something, make sure they're all the right way up. So I had two like that. Yeah, so I've kind of got this, the rounded corners are facing in there, then the points are facing each other there, and then the rounded corners again there. And then along the bottom, I've got it so that it's opposite to that. So you can see now I've got the points all there, but the rounded corners down this side and they're there on that side this is just the pattern i've decided to do you could do anything you like and then like that so you've kind of got two that's the flowers that i did in last week's one i put an embellishment in the middle it looked really nice but this time i thought i'm going to do that and then i've cut this sentiment which is from one of my very first wiper card die sets and it's the yay it's your day i think it was from the five by seven set but I've just uh, cut it with some foam and um, so it's got that dimension, but I didn't take any of it out yet because I thought I would wait. So with a double sided foam tape just means you can peel the backing off. Probably should have done that last actually because now I've got to take all these pieces out. I'll do them this way instead. And um, it just means you've got a nice dimensional sentiment. So I'm just going to take all these pieces out. OK, so that's ready. So what I'm going to do is stick these down first. I'm just going to use... My liquid glue. And then I'm just going to position this one in the middle and just kind of place it down first. I think that's about right. And by adding the foam, you just get that natural drop shadow. Just check they're all how I want them. Yeah, there you have it. I think that looks really nice. So fast to do. Brilliant one with your scraps. And I think, yeah, a really sweet little birthday card. You can make a few of these and then pop them in a gift box you know, and give that as a gift as well. I think that would look lovely. I think that would look quite nice in a like a mirrored card maybe. So you could always cut it again if you, you know, do it and then you think, actually, I want that to pop a bit more because there's shine in this. I might add, let me just try. I'm just thinking <laughs> I always do this. Add some of my accent glaze all over and then when that dries it will match the shine in the balloons I do like doing this on sentiments so I'll quickly do that now and then maybe by the time I've done the others it would have set a little bit okay just give it a little little tap on the back that's going to level out now but you can see that lovely shine now that you get on that and it's going to match the shine in the balloon so i'll leave that to dry and we'll move on to card number two so for this one i've got a piece of cardstock which is five and a quarter squared this is going on to a six by six card blank so five and a quarter squared and then my pattern here is four and a half squared and using the pencil I've already done this one here. So along the top, you want to mark at every one and three quarters. So one and three quarters and then three and a half. And then along the bottom, we want to mark between that again. So it's half of the three quarters. So I've got seven eighths of an inch here. Okay. Then I've got two and five eighths. 
and then I've got four and three eighths. Okay. If you want, you can now, in fact, yeah, if I mark this out, I think it'd be easier where you need to cut. So you're going to join, you've, you'll have just two pencil marks at the top. You'll have three at the bottom. The last one on the bottom here, we're going to line up. We're going to just draw a pencil from the top point there down to the pencil mark. Then up to the next one here. And then again, you're doing like a... Oh, a zigzag all the way down and then finish like so okay you can do the same then with this piece because I'm actually going to have this pattern against the blue I think it looks really nice so again I've already marked on this one so along the top here you're going to mark at one and a half and three so one and a half and three and then along the bottom it's half of that again so this time it's three quarters then two and a quarter and then three and three quarters and then I'm going to join again so this bottom one here I'm going to join up to the top corner there and then join the next one oh. You don't have to do this when you go to, you know, you can just cut from pencil mark to pencil mark. But if I do this for some people that would prefer to follow, you know, a straight line. That's why I'm doing this. Okay, so I've just done exactly the same as what I've done on this one here. And then we're going to cut it all apart now. We're going to just follow those lines. I'll do it on the blue first because I think it's easier to see. So first of all, I'm going to cut this corner off here. And you're keeping all of the pieces. So I'm just lining up the points. And then I'll just flip that one over. And then I'm going to cut down this one. All of these pieces will be the same size. So don't worry if you get jumble them up. And then these, you just want one at each end. Okay, I'm just going to do the same with this one here. Okay, so the end ones, what I would suggest is just pop it back in. You're just going to have to just shave. Just shave a little bit off until you're happy that you've got the same border as the others. There we go. Then you want to stick all these on top of each other and then I'm going to stick foam on the back of the blue pieces and we're going to attach them to the card. This is a top folding six by six card and then I'm just going to lay these over the top. Bring these down so you've got the same border down here as you have at the top. So that's going to give you more of that white border. Like so. And now I'm going to add my foam. Okay, so that's all stuck down. I think this looks really cool. I love, I love it that way, but it also looks really good this way as well. I'm not sure the sentiment on that one yet, so I'm just going to pop that to one side and I'll come back and put the sentiment on in a minute. So that's card number two for now. So card number three is going to be on a five by seven, again, card blank. And I've just cut all these pieces. I had lots of very small bits, so I wanted to use those rather than, you know, them go in the bin. So I've got nine pieces here. So these are, so the mirrored ones are one and a quarter squared and then the pattern paper is one inch squared and just like the first card i've just popped some foam in between and stuck them on top of each other and then this piece at the bottom so the mirrored is four and a quarter by two and then this piece is four 
by one and three quarters. And again, I'll pop some foam in there. I'm just going to stick it down like this. And then I thought about stamping maybe a circle sentiment and having it kind of overlapping a couple or just pop a sentiment right in the middle there. And just make sure you've got the same gap here as you've got at the top there. And then you can just place these. I like that. I think that's quite a nice it look good as a window you could have maybe a picture and then cut the picture down into nine squares so it's like you're looking out to the scene and then you know you could have this could be like a sofa and you could have someone sitting on the chair so it's really easy when you've got that liquid glue to move them around but i think I've got them as straight as I can get it. I think what does this is the mirrored, that holographic card. It's one of my favourites. I really like it. So again, we'll come back to the sentiment on that one. So that's card number three. Card number four is just lots of circles. And I'm going to have them kind of overhang and then trim it. So I've just used my circle punches. I've got a variety of sizes here. So I've used two and a half diameter one and a half, one and a quarter, and this one is half an inch, I think. Yeah, I've already got my sentiment there, which is from, like I said last week, I need thank you cards. So this is the Ultimate Ribbon Sentiments set, and you get the stamps there as well, but I've just used the thank you die there. So I've just cut all the same pattern, and I'm just gonna start arranging them, but I like it when they, ooh, I like it when they overlap. And I'm going to pop foam on these as well because I like the shadow that you get. So we'll have maybe that one there. So there's no right or wrong. Be any shapes you want. doesn't have to be circles. I've done similar. I think the last time I did something like this with circles, I didn't. It was I done it in all like blues. So it looked like bubbles under the sea. And then these small ones I thought were nice kind of little fillers. I think I'm going to go with that. And then I'm just going to pop my foam pads on the back so that's it stuck down and then just take your scissors flip it over and just run your scissors along the side of the card so you get it nice and straight I just think when you let things overhang, I think it's really nice. Okay, how lovely does that look? If you've got a balloon punch or die, you could have this as all, and you've got a few different sizes, having different size balloons. I think that would look really cool. And then my sentiment, I just thought it'd be nice to just have stuck across there. I could have it running along the bottom, the top. No, I think it looks quite nice through the middle. That's card number four. I really like that. Okay, and then card number five. I've just got all these different width strips. You want the length to be just slightly longer than the card that you're going to put this on. So the card size is entirely up to you. I've got a six by six again, but I've cut this piece, which is five and three quarters squared. And then I'm going to do like the herringbone technique, but I thought I would pop them all up on foam. <laughs> so <laughs> everything's on foam today. So you kind of want to have... I always like to start with a long one that goes right through the middle and then you kind of work off of that one. So yeah, I think I'll do that one first. I'm gonna use this foam here. And then I'm just gonna stick that one right through the middle, like so. I might stick but it's fine, we can trim all that away. And then I'm gonna take, I might not use the red, I wanna kind of keep it white against that background. So this one looks quite nice. I think we'll use that one. So the idea is, is that you kind of clash your prints and the colors, um, but you wanna leave a little gap between each one. So I'm just gonna pop this on here so I don't get my thing sticky. Table, there we go. Um, so the positioning of this is, entirely up to you I like that one there I might stick with all my strips a bit thicker for this one I've done this technique a few times I have a separate tutorial just on this technique as well it's a really popular one lots of people go to this one especially if they made like a pop-up card and they just want a simple design on the front and they've got lots of scraps left over from that project this is a great one 
and then what you want to then do is work within each so i've got four sections now you then want to work within each section so i think i'll have that one that way so you only need little you, you know i don't need all of the length that i've got and i'll probably use the end of this somewhere else if i run out and you want to keep the same gap and then i can take that one's a bit thinner let's go for this one so i can keep using the foam and then you're going to do like that and then you do another one there and there and you go all the way down there's a few ways to do it this is just the easiest way kind of the one that i've always the way i've just always done it but i thought it'd be quite nice having it all lifted with the foam and you can't start to see this design and you want to try and get like this one here has got kind of a pearlized pinky background whereas this is very white so it, it does still kind of pop against it try not to have you know two similar colors next to each other because you then kind of lose the pattern so can you see that and if you, by having the red background that starts to you know come through and then I could use, no, I'll save that opposite one for maybe up there. The reverse of that was the blue. So I think the blue would look nice maybe up there. When you've got a space like this, I would just do another one side by side. So I will add that blue back in. Otherwise you start working with such small areas. So you just want to fill that space there we go so i'm just going to do the same just work my way around until i filled everything and what i can do because i wouldn't mind having this piece down here so i said i have got some of the foam stuck on it there you might want to you know you don't have to use the foam but i'm just going to flip it over i'm not going to use those scissors <laughs> i use these ones but just trim it off and then you can use, you know, these pieces again. So I might have that one next to that one there. Okay, so that's how it looks when it's all cut. And I've got a nice white frame there with the card blank. If you've got sticky on your scissors, just spray with some rubbing alcohol and some paper towel and it will soon come off and then they'll be as new again because I just used my lovely scissors. I wasn't concentrating, so I need to give those a clean. And I'm just going to pop my glue on the back. Okay, so whilst that's drying, I'm just going to find some sentiments for these. Okay, so that's all the cards done. So here's number one again. I really like this style. Just by simply rounding those corners, just gives you such a different look. And then this one, I've decided to go for this gold sentiment in the middle. And I've just taken some of the die cuts. Well, they're not die cuts. You can cut them out from the paper. I think this design is one of my favourites. I definitely want to look at some other ways to do this maybe some other shapes or something but i like that style and then this one i took the greatest showman this was again one of the pieces that you can cut out from the front page and you've got the the ringmaster there and the elephant and the tent and stuff so i thought that one worked quite well and then the thank you which you saw and then lastly i've just got these heart frames there's some these ones are by Simply Creative and then that same happy birthday sentiment again. I like the gold against the uh, the red there. I think it looks really nice. So that's this week's five cards using my scraps. Which one's your favourite? One, two, three, four or five. Let me know in the comments. I do like to see what you think. And yeah, I'll be back again next Sunday with more scraps videos if you enjoy those. Check out the other playlist popping up now because that's other scraps videos so if you're new to the channel and you want to see what other ones i've done and if you've enjoyed today's tutorial consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already and if you hit the notification bell you'll be notified every time i upload something new 
Take care and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.